guys. So, I am back. Hello, welcome to another part of Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Um, in this part we're gonna take on the gym. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Electric type gym. All electric Pokemon. Even though he's a sailor. Even though he's a sailor. I mean, come on. Yeah, Mew is our uh, ace in the hole for this. With uh, maybe Slave RA, we'll uh, go in to take to be resistant to some sort of electric attack. I don't really know what kind. Meow, 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 meow. Right, I'm just gonna battle everyone in here because navigating around them to do the gimmick of this gym is just stupid. Rocker. Look, what's it? Look at that whip. Okay, now Voltorb is an electric Pokemon that is pretty much useless as an electric Pokemon. Okay. Voltorb. Yeah, it doesn't learn an electric move until. <laughs> Until like level 30 or something. Okay. The only thing that's really good about it is that it is fast. Alright. Rivaling Rapidash and some of the higher up their Pokemon, especially when it becomes an Electrode. Now something cool about Magnemite, even though those those magnets on the other on each side, when I first played this game, I thought they were mouths. You know. Like like all this time, like, some of these Pokemon, how do they eat? Voltorb, does it have a mouth? No. Or does it? I don't know. Magnemite definitely doesn't, though. It just makes noise. But anyway, the, a, a cool thing about Magnemite is in the next, uh, in second generation, it's a steel type, so normal types are useless against it, and fire types are good. So, like, Mega Punch would have done almost nothing. Had this been second generation, but in second generation there's no Mew either, so. And a gentleman. Just random <laughs> trainers in here, I guess. Well, level 23, though. Oh no. Its quick attack will do just slightly more than use quick attack. Wow. Thunder wave me and die. Oh wow. Alright, nice. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, useless. All right. So the gimmick with this gym, all these trash cans. Nope, only trash. Nope, only trash. Nope, only trash. One will have a switch under it, right? And the gimmick is that the the second switch is always next to the one that you find it under, but. I don't know... Yeah, turn it on. First, electric light on. Alright, I don't know if it's this one, or this one. Let's see if it's this one. Nope. And then they reset. Awesome. I think the game is glitched somehow, and I think that sometimes, if you if it's this one, it might end up being this, this one all the way over here. Like, that's just stupid. This is boring as all hell. No! Oh my god, if it's that corner one that I was at, I'm gonna be so pissed. Do it. Oh my god. Thank you. It's just guessing, really. It, it could have been this one. I think it could have even been this one all the way on the other side over here, but whatever. Do I have an item that might help? I'm not gonna use a max potion. Alright, yeah, well, let's put in here. Oh, there's trash. Alright, let's see. Hey, kid. What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. The great Pokemon War of 1993. 
They zap my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. Well, paralysis only works about 30% of the time, so... You know, in the anime, Ice Beam works all the time. Whoa, he has three Pokemon? Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Alright. In yellow, he only has Raichu. Um... And it's a level 27 Raichu, and it is tough. It knows Mega Punch. Um. Um. Ah. Uh, it knows Thunderbolt, Mega Punch. Um. Come on. You know, some sort of stat lowering things. It might know Thunder Wave, too. This one probably knows different moves. Seriously. Uh, Pikachu. He has a Pikachu? No, I don't want to change the Pokemon. I need Mew for Raichu. If Mew somehow died to any one of these things. Useless. Absolutely useless. <laughs> Some of these trainers are stupid. When you get to the Elite Four, those trainers are smart. Okay. Yes. All right, this is what we needed Mew for. Man, they really changed. Look at that! Look at Raichu's tail. Raichu looks so fat too. I almost feel like transforming to see exactly growl. Please, Mega Punch. Yeah! Wow, that was so easy. In yellow, he beat me like 12 times. <laughs> Fine, then take the Thunder Badge. I already forgot what voice I used for him. It creates a Pokemon speed and also lets your Pokemon fly in time, kid. You're supposed to take this. Thunderbolts. Yeah. Alright, awesome. I love Thunderbolts. Alright, and my, is my name added? Winter Trainers, Doucher and Dragon. Well, the dragon redeems this place. Wrong. You are everyone is f slash. I mean, flash. Alright, um... Next, right after I heal, we're gonna be heading through, uh... Diglett Cave. Well, no, wait. Actually, I will... Actually, you know what? I will, uh, be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just went and caught a couple Pokemon because, well, you'll see why. Oh, I fast forwarded, damn it. Um, you'll see why. Uh, actually, hopefully in this part. Okay, dig the cave. What? What the hell? How is he first? Run. Just kill me. Just kill me. In dig the cave, you have a 95% chance of running to a diglet between level... I'm gonna go ahead and say 16... No. 16 and, uh, I think 24 might be the max. Um... You have a five, however, you have a five percent chance of running into a Dugdrio on level thirty-three. Okay, and that and that is one tough customer. <laughs> I'll see if I run into one uh, before I get to the end. It's not really long of a tunnel, and for some reason, I'm having a ridiculous amount of number of random encounters. I think it's a cool Pokemon. It's probably a better ground Pokemon than um, than Sandshrew because it's more powerful and faster, and it involves a Dugdrio, and Sandshrew is just slow. And the Pokemon I call on the screen were Mew and Bellsprout, and again, I'll tell you why later. Well, not really later. It should make it this part if I can get through here. Just straight up. Oh my god, it's every, every step, every step. Like, literally every step. Are you kidding me? If you could just run, it would be going quicker. Come on. The music isn't even getting a chance to do anything. At the end of this, I might be fast forward a little bit. I'm gonna just fast forward my way through the cave. Damn it. The cave is a really good place to train water Pokemon. Because even a water time, which isn't really a powerful water move, is killing them. I'm sure my war turtle, same type attack bonus, which is 1.5, water Pokemon, water move. Just bubble, would kill it. Oh, I thought there was one. <laughs> there was one right before that ladder. Sorry, I sneezed really loudly. Alright, we made it through. Oh my god, there's a sneeze on my screen. Oh, I hope I got it all. Oh no, 11 minutes. Alright, look. Is it in here? Damn it. Alright. Um, Alright, you know what? I'm actually not gonna get into it. No, you know what I am? This thing was a huge part, and I fast forward that. Uh, this guy, Leaf for Abra, I want to try for Mr. Mime. I don't have an Abra. Oh no, I do the Pokemon Center! I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I went and I got it. And this. I'm going back, I ran a 2 2. 
Um, Diglett. And then on my way back here, I ran like 12 Diglett and 2 Doug Drills. One level 29, one level 31. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Oh, and you um, went up a level. I need to learn Metronome. I'll get into that next part, what Metronome does. Um, I'm, not this I'm not trading this Pokemon to use, by the way. <laughs> it's just easier than going and finding another Pokemon. Plus, this is going to show you Mr. Mime, which is like really, like, this is the only way you can get Mr. Mime. And most of the time, most of the time traded Pokemon come, yeah, Marcel, with a, uh, with a thing. With a, a nickname. Alright, the reason I needed him was because this is the aid where you flash, and you need 10 kinds of Pokemon. Yeah, and that, that Mr. Mime got me 10. I got a Bellsprout, which I renamed shit, because that's what it is. And who can learn it? Okay, well, all right, well, we're gonna keep him just to use Flash once. All right, well, that's gonna be for this part. I will explain stuff in the next part, I guess, which isn't really very professional, but whatever. All right, I will, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.